Hey, good afternoon. It's Tony talking car biz. Say, I'm here at the uh, dealership, and uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about was use of space and merchandising. What are you doing as a dealership to really take advantage of all the room you have uh, to be able to display your vehicles? So, when dealers first build their buildings years ago, they generally have built out in the perimeter of the city, like halfway out in the suburbs. Why do they do that? Well, it's so that they can, uh, you know, buy land cheap. A dealership might need three, four, five, ten, a dozen acres to build a new dealership. And so they build the dealership on, you know, farmland. And then time passes by and the city comes out and, cr and creeps around the buildings. And before you know it, it becomes prime real estate. And when you get out into the car dealership or arena, you know, they might have three, four, five acres of property that is really expensive commercial property. What does one square foot of property, what does that cost in a prime commercial area um, in terms of uh, taxes you pay, maybe interest? What's the value of that one square foot? And so when I get out to a dealership and I see, you know, literally an acre, two acres, three acres of empty parking lot, um, I'm a little uh, concerned. I'm a little uh, confused. Why would you own all this property and not maximize the opportunity for this retail space? Here's an example of a big, beautiful facility, big, beautiful building, and yet... Um, they're not taking advantage of it. Now they might be low on inventory, um, and that's the case here at this particular dealer. Here at the end of the model year, they're expecting to get more inventory. But even so, I don't quite understand with all this extra room, why you would park your cars, in the case of these minivans, why would you park them two feet apart when you literally have thousands of square feet that you could display these vehicles and really turn it into a showroom, albeit an exterior showroom, versus a shelf. So if you're a dealer and you're low on inventory, which many of you are right now here at the end of the model year, especially if you're a Toyota store, my recommendation to you is spread them out. Let's pretend that there's a big roof over this and it's a big showroom and let's display the cars outside just like we would display the cars inside and take advantage of this really, really expensive real estate. Hey, it's Tony with Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching.